Thank you. Hi, good evening. My name is Chad Smith. I reside at 315 Old Sandhurst Station, Johns Creek, Georgia. Mayor and members of the City Council, I'm here to, today to review with you a unique art project by world-renowned artist Kelly Montague. This project was recently reviewed and approved by the Johns Creek Public Art Board, as Ben had mentioned, and it's a joint project between our See the Creek project team from the 2020 Leadership Johns Creek class and our official nonprofit partner, Johns Creek Beautification. Here are some of our team members which are in attendance tonight. And because it's such a late hour, I'm just going to continue going through this if you don't mind. So <laughs> they've been waiting quite a bit. So for our project, our team evaluated many options. We saw many needs in Johns Creek for public art. Um, but when we were presented with this idea, it really checked all the boxes that we were lo looking for. Uh, we wanted a project that would represent the diverse and varied aspects of Johns Creek, one that was positive in nature and inclusive and showed unity. We also wanted it to be something tangible, something we could point to with pride, and we wanted it to be something that all of Johns Creek could be proud of and would encourage people to come to Johns Creek and drive some incremental new business and spend from these visitors at local establishments if possible. So the basic parameters of the project are, it'll be an interactive art mural. Uh, the, the dimensions are eight by 24, as you can see there. Uh, Bennett has already shown you the locations. I'll briefly show those again, but I won't dwell on those. Um, pardon me. She has a hashtag called what lifts you. Um, we also are going to be able to put our own hashtag, see the creek, which will be visible on a lot of social media platforms. Um, this is one of the things that will hopefully provide some essentially free advertising and drive some traffic to Johns Creek. Um, here you can see one of Kelsey's examples of butterfly wings, um, which is a popular one uh, and one that's in many locations around the world. Again, this is the location. It's the south wall of the uh, concession stand building directly across from Amphitheater. And of course, we think that'll be a big hit during the summer concert series. I think a lot of folks will come there and get their pictures made with it, et cetera. And again, Ben showed you the aerial slide. We have a concept here of what we think the final product will look like. Uh, we're working with the artist to come up with something that will show essentially everyone has a seat in Johns Creek. Um, again, this is conceptual, but it's something that will show seats where they can get in front of it and take pictures, et cetera. And the various chairs that you see here, the finished ones will show various aspects of either local um, schools, uh, things that will um, remind you of Johns Creek, uh, Six Bridges, for example, Peaches, things of that nature that are local to, to our area. The whole aspect of Kelsey's art is to be able to interact with it. Here you can see a young lady sitting or proposing to sit. Uh, at the public art board, we had Ron, who was in the back, to actually do a wall set. That's kind of what they'll do. There won't actually be a seat there. It'll just be painted, but it'll be something that they can kind of, uh, you know, kind of act like you're sitting at. So. It's tough to hold. Uh, <clears throat> this is an actual picture of the wall. And on the right, you'll see we've also negotiated with, uh, with Kelsey to throw in a small little mural that people can use with their dogs. Obviously, we have a large dog park there, and we think that uh, that will be a big draw as well. We don't want to forget our four-legged friends. I mentioned some of our partners. Um, we partnered with John Street Beautification. This was actually an the idea they've had for several years. Uh, we're happy to work with them to um, uh, bring this to fruition. We're also working with uh, the city, obviously, Fulton County. We've applied for an art grant there, uh, Johns Creek Conventions and Visitors Bureau, and as well as the Art Center and several corporate and private sponsors that we're looking to have help pay for this. We've currently already raised over $6,300, and we have several grants that, like I said, are outstanding that we hope to hear of one by the end of this week and another one in April. So we feel that this piece of art will help uh, 
develop, energize, and activate the city of Johns Creek. We don't really have a lot of public art, so this will really be a first. Um, the best part of public art are those pieces that allow the community to directly interact and not just look at. We feel like that there's a real need for a beautiful, fun, and interactive art piece for the city. We feel like this piece will celebrate our city's diversity, engage individuals of all ages and capabilities, and attract visitors to Johns Creek. We feel like this piece will be a lasting potential for economic development and installing it in a high traffic area should drive increased sales in local restaurants and stores nearby. A very quick biography of Kelsey. I won't read the whole thing. Uh, she's an inspiring international female street artist. She's the author behind the What Lifts You movement. Her ability to harness the power of social media and create uplifting and interactive public art for the digital age has propelled her to a unique status among artists and social influencers. Her murals invite people to enter the piece itself, encourage them to share their experience online in a way that inspires others. She studied in Florence. She's worked around the world, sharing her What Lifts You inspirational message and encouraging others to focus on what really matters and what can help move us all forward. She's partnered with several large corporations and organizations such as Starbucks, Yamaha, Facebook, The Gap, Hyatt, GE, and Universal Studios, just to name a few. Her work has been featured in many publications such as New York Times, Forbes, Good Morning America, USA Today, and I said, as I said earlier, uh, her work was on the cover of the Taylor Swift uh, album. That's really what propelled her into the, the limelight. So here are a few examples of some of the social media um, exposure that she gets when she does an installation. Um, I have a little hard time reading this, so I'm going to read off the monitor. Um, so she did the San Diego Horton Plaza installation, and within six months, they had over 600,000 uh, in Instagram. Instagram, sorry, Instagram imp impressions. The gray. So those are essentially views that um, that, that page got. Um, 37,000 on Snapchat in 14 days. When she did the Gulch in Nashville, she reached an estimated 10.5 million in the first year. So you can see where this goes. So just to quote from Kelsey, what lifts you is so powerful because we're so rarely asked what is truly important in your life and what do you value? I love watching the creative ways people take flight as they answer this question on social media. So it's really not just the picture. A lot of this creates interaction with their friends and their followers and other folks. And if you read some of the comments, some folks really open up and they start to think about what really is important to them. So it's more than just the picture. This is an example of um, one of her cor corporate partnerships with uh, United, United Airlines. Here are a few more. There's angel wings in addition to butterfly wings. You can also see the dragonfly one as well. So she has multiple versions of these kind of things, and you can see some examples of uh, the one in the center top. You can actually see the line of people lined up to take, that, take pictures there. So they become destinations. People actually, when they come to the city for a soccer tournament or a basketball tournament or a softball tournament, they'll take time out to go by and take pictures with their family at these locations. She also has some retail. Um, here she's, uh, she's actually partnered with Vans. Those were popular when I was in middle school, but apparently they're coming back. Um, uh, she also has adult coloring books, if you're into that kind of thing. And she's also put her, uh, her, her artwork on some water bottles and other things like that. So um, you can also see on the map here, when I said she was world renowned, her art installations are around the globe. She has 144,000 Instagram followers, so when people take a picture of this and they take the, uh, the what lifts you hashtag, that's who it'll be seen by all the time. So hopefully I've gone through this pretty quickly. If you have any questions. Have any questions for the presenter? Oh, I do. 
and you'll have to indulge me. Remember oh, our audience? Boy, and I'm like, nice. I don't get to do this very often. What's the good word? Dale with Georgia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's for my fellow Bulldogs. Wow. Up here. <laughs> well, so much for this project. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this given. is incredible. I was incredible. thinking he was in the home run <laughs> right there. <laughs> this, I don't get to do that very often. This is incredible. I'm so excited. I think you, uh, this is cool. Um, just a couple things. Can one be a bar stool? I don't know if I can do the wall squat. Um, I'm excited. We, I, <laughs> we get one revision with the artist, and we're working on getting the first. Um, the first. I'm kidding. You thing. Don't worry I don't about it. But, but, but. Uh, I do think the dog thing may be more popular than this, and I just want to say one more thing. Uh, it's Mr. Best birthday, so I think we should wish him, wish him happy birthday. Am I correct in that? Yeah. <laughs> well, that should seal the deal there. Um. I'll, I'll just ask, the, the wall that this is going to go on, yes, it's textured. It is. Is that, are y'all concerned about that at all? Not at all, not at all. And matter of fact, we'll have, it'll actually have a graffiti coating that'll go on top of it to kind of protect it. But yeah, she's painted on everything from, you know, um, some of the things I've seen have gutters going through them. So huh? yeah, she's not a problem with that. Well, anyway, I'm just super impressed and... Thank you for your presentation. Thank you, Leadership Johns Creek. And I look forward to uh, one day getting my own picture taken with my family sitting on those chairs. So thank you. Absolutely. I just really have a comment, and I, I was just thoroughly impressed with See the Creek from, uh, you know, you emailed us the project plan and the steps, the dates, and everything aligned, and, and I really just think this is how a public art project should proceed, and I'm just, it, it's the epitome, I, I think, of how it should be done, and I just uh, want to commend you all for a job well done. Thank you. I have a great team back here. Yeah, and, and th they also have a GoFundMe uh, <laughs> Uh, they have yes. a GoFundMe account, and the rest of the council, uh, we get paid Friday, so you might want to give them a nudge. Um, to, uh, give them a shout. Further discussion? Well, we haven't actually got a motion on the yeah, floor. Yeah, um, I have a quick question slash comment. Uh, actually, to echo what Lenny said, I, I went to the public art board meeting where this was presented, and there was such a positive energy in the room, so I'm so excited that that's carrying forward. Um, I don't want to micromanage what you're doing, but I did think along the lines of what Lenny said is there are people with mobility issues in our community, whether physical disability or age. And so I, to the extent you could make sure there's something that could include someone, that would be great. If I can, if I can go back to the actual picture of the wall quickly, you can see right now that's actually ADA accessible. We're, the area where the roses are are going to be gone, so mm -hmm. they'll be able to go right to it. There well, so, but, like, if you couldn't do the wall squad, if there was, like, a standing option. Just They'll be able to either, yes. Again, not to micromanage, and not, not for you sure. all to micromanage her, but it, to the extent you could make that, you know, request, that would be appreciated. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Ron. Any it. further questions, or does someone want to make a motion? I move to, we just have to approve it, right? Yep. I move to approve item M4. Public Art Board consideration to approve the placement of an interactive mural at Newtown Park. We have a motion to approve item M4 as presented. Thank you, Councilmember Andres. Is there a second to the motion? A second. second. We have a second with Councilmember Weaver. Yeah. We have a motion and a second. Discussion on the motion. So I was sold when I think it was Laura that I spoke with. Yeah, I was sold when we talked about it. So I think it's great. Thank you. Further discussion on the motion? What's the quote? You had us at hello or whatever when Chad called me. I was like, yeah. So, yeah, I'm in. So I'm not just sold. I actually, this isn't for Leadership Johns Creek, but I will tell you that this is another example why Leadership Johns Creek has been such a great program. I remember when it was first launched, they said, we're going to leave lasting legacies for Johns Creek. I can completely see how this will be a lasting legacy for Johns Creek. You will literally reestablish us on the map. Um, the fact that you got this artist amazes me. I couldn't be more excited that we've been able to do that. It actually, both of our murals now will be world-renowned artists, and that's pretty incredible. My only hope, because I've been in cities where murals are everywhere, my only hope is that this starts a trend, and if we can do more than one of these around the city, because while I think this is going to be great, the truth is you made a statement about it increasing business. The truth is where these really increase business is when they're located in the town center. So when and if we ever build a town center, when, not if, right. I hope we'll have more murals there too. So 
uh, hopefully future, future leadership Johns Creeks will keep that in mind. I'll support the motion. Further discussion on the motion? Just one last comment. Uh, Mr. Smith, there are four UGA graduates, um, so when you say the hell with Georgia, it's, it's tough. Know your audience. Yeah, yeah know your audience. <laughs> he, knows it. One, he knows it very well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's confident. Lenny, <laughs> revenge is a dish best served cold. Oh, wow. <laughs> Any further discussion on the motion? Madam Clerk, do we have the motion ready to go? Can you open the voting? You can close the voting. Passes unanimously. Congratulations. We look forward to your work.